Yes, I'm on your live. Have you seen anything? Yes, I'm seeing you. Have they seen me? Yes, they are. Okay. Blankishaw, we are here. Where are the places? We are in Free Hill, St. Anne. We are in Free Hill. This looks like a paid hill. <laughs> we are in Free Hill, St. Thomas, St. Anne. And, and we are going to stush in the bush. And the Germans are ahead of us. They go and do it because we, we are where to make it. And I'm not used to here. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> a long walk. I had to take my sneakers off. <laughs> so we're going to push in the bush, right? Yeah. In I the told bush. them about pushing the bush. So they are coming in the bush. How do you get this idea to come in? Oh, they are coming down. It's, it's a big No, no. I'm trying to hold it steady. Uh, tell, what the the dog? Dog? Get the dog. Get the dog. You get the dog. I'm afraid of dogs. Yeah, Christy meet us at the gate because we're walking down the Hino Mary. Yeah, and we are afraid of the dog. Donna is afraid I'm of afraid the of the dog. Is it blurry? No, it's not oh, blurry. So Phoenix, I love you. You know, you make me know some nice places. I love you too. Yes, young Mr. Phoenix. Because I would never dream of coming to this place. It's so nice up here. It's really, really beautiful. Yes. And the food is the best. Beautiful atmosphere, guys. Look at the flowers. Are they seeing it? Yes, they are. It's You're talking to my Blanketarians. They're listening to you. Yes. Oh, yes. they're hearing. Yeah. It's my first time coming here. I see Christmas trees. I see flowers. I see everything. We're just coming down. This one has one skeleton. Who's that? Who's that? Look at the Neesbury tree. Neesbury, guys. And that tree okay, is wait loaded wait with jelly. Dog. Yeah, they're holding the dog. Jesus, they're not going to bring me down and dog. Guys, you see that tree 60 from the dogs? And when the dog are coming, they're going to climb. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look here. No, no, they said tour guys are not afraid of the of the of the, yeah, <laughs> the dogs. When I was a baby, call the blankers. My grandmother used to plant these tomatoes. Let me show you. And we go to the center of the bush to pick them. These are cherry tomatoes. Come tat, come show them. And she cook them in the pot. See them here? My grandmother used to have them at the house corner. See the why ants, ants, ants. See them right here? Oh, I'm gonna pick the green one. Yes. This is what we call a cherry tomato. Yes. Plummy. We call them plummy. How you doing? Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, Auntie Donna. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. Bless you. How are you? I am good. Awesome. You. you too. Size 12. 
Oh, you guys will wear shoes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Good Hi, everybody. This is Chris. Yes. Hi, Chris. Bush, and soon you'll meet Stush. Okay. He's Bush. Our, yes. He's Bush. So, uh, and his wife. wife is Stush. Oh, one is Tush and one is Bush. Yes. So how could you get that name? All right, All come. Right. You're on my life. Why you know, all the world is seeing you now? Yes, I just go and got me a cherry tomato. Sweetie. They are very sweet. Yeah, sweet. My grandmother yeah. used to put them in the pot. She said, look some um, <laughs> some plummy and come back. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That, that is a key bush. Yeah, she, she I remember. Heart. She wanted to search your heart. Yeah, search my heart. Yeah, yeah. When we're going up, we search my heart. Good for her. Oh, I'm not going to search him. 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 Sir, please. Yeah, um, <laughs> Oi. Oi, God, no, I'm a... ah, we, we... <laughs> no, no, no. Just relax. Breathe. 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 Guys, Dana is having a panic attack. Look at the, da the dogs. And Tidana is having a panic attack, right? Just keep walking in here. Those dogs are big. I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't do that. Ma'am, please. Let's finish. Ma'am, I'm a panic attack. You can't go with them, your dog. Look. You hear that, dear? You'll be fine. No. Ma'am, you're going to inspire for them. Look at them. I'm going to show you my dog bites. My dog bites here. Look. Yeah, ma'am. You're good, Dana. Can I bite here, sir? Oh, that's not from here. That's not from here. Mr. Feeney. Come, 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 we got you. I would never take you anywhere where your life is in danger. We got you, cuz calm down. We got you. I would never take you anywhere where life is in danger. We got you. It's a nice new experience. I was like, sorry about that, guys. Gotta take the camera from her. Oh, look at him. Never bring Joshi. Jesus. Yeah, never put them weak. Yeah, look Hi, beautiful. Hi, handsome. Oh, oh, look at them. Look, I'm playing with them. They're not bad dogs. No. They're pets. No, well, sister. No, man, you got this, Dana. Come on, you got this. Never. Yes, I know you got it. Yeah, you got it. Multiplied over you got this. Yeah. You got it. Come, we got you. Come. I know. I know. Come, back at me, sir. Miss. In that trouble. Walk yeah. Come. And breathe. You have yeah, no, two things that you need to do. Just breathe. May yeah. I breathe? I am here, man. Yeah, yeah, I am right. here. Come. You see, the more the sooner you get up top, the faster you get away from them. See, as your friend, I'm going to make you get some nice experience. I used to be a Christian, I'm a friend now. Come. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm proud of her. And to Donna to the world, I'm very proud of her. And today, you guys saw her overcoming her fear of the dogs. No. They're pets. You're not, you're not afraid. Eh? I'm not afraid. <laughs> I was when I saw them coming because she was scared. Yeah. But I'm good. Hey, good Hi. Dogs, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, guys. There are the dogs. All dogs. <laughs> they are all dirty. Hi, sweetie. I'm good. How are you doing? Awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, this is the atmosphere. Atmosphere is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful here. 
absolutely beautiful. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Absolutely you. beautiful. Oh, here there. Here there. Mm. <laughs> yes, guys, I was too. When I saw her face and I saw her took off, guys, yes, I knew it was happening. But she's Everybody she's pulling worried? through. Yeah, she's pulling through. She's doing good. Yeah, she's doing good. <laughs> Can I take her inside from the dogs, please. So she can calm down. Hi, say hi to the planker. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, we're going in. I'm sorry for the bad, um, the bad video in, guys. I'm sorry about that. It's not by intention. All right. She's inside now. Guys, this is the atmosphere. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. The atmosphere is beautiful. Okay, there's the boss. There she is, right there. She's doing good, guys. No, yes. They're not laughing. Nobody's laughing. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. God it's like getting used to experience. They're actually pets. They look bad, but they're actually really pets. When I came the first time, I was serious. So this is the next time to come. Did you tell me? Tell me I've made a prepared feet. I never know so it's a good one. Look at most of me God knew I'm nearly dropped down. Next time to come, shepherds be friends with them. Because she loves animals and animals love her. You must have been trying to come into her project. Then they love her. Then they love her. Guys, we can't laugh now. <laughs> Guys, I can't laugh now. She all right? <laughs> you are okay. Glad you are all right. Yeah, me too. Oh my God. Yeah, she's good. This is my dog bite. I'm sorry. You see that? Don't bite me for me. I'm afraid of dog when it... Thank you, Sha. I'm sorry for what happened today. I'm not sure what happened today. It's a nice experience. Thank you, Sha, for not seeing me. I tell you, I said the first thing in my life, my heart in my mouth. I feel like I could have collapsed. God damn. No, you're not collapsing. I said, Thank you, people, I'm sorry for big dog. Thank you, people. Thank you, people. That's where I look. I see my dad them I come to. <laughs> I, I'm kind of weak now. I say when I see my dog them I come. I don't know where they run to me. I'm telling you, I tell you say when my little dog bite me up, I'm glad that never catch me a ball. God no. All my nose start to. <laughs> I'm not a little idiot. Long cash shop, me at this, me never hear about nothing like this. Yes, I'm yes, I'm going to hold it down. You know, I think I'm some come, little, little dog, you know. Not them, I'm type of animal, they're going to come. What do you mean? If me know say something like this, it'll wake me on the wooden seat. No, best I'm here the tour guy. When me hear Miss Phoenix say, "Control the dog, blank a shot," me think say, "I saw me cut dog and them I got chained them up on the man." Say, "There's something to drink outside." Yeah, man, me afraid I out there, Miss Phoenix. You have to get one. Now go back out, eh? Guys, she's okay. When I took out Auntie Donna, they don't worry, okay? I was afraid before when I came here the first okay. time, but I got used to it. Miss Phoenix, I should have sit me down with this. I said, Donna, which bar we are going to go like there. Oh, I you know she wouldn't come. Start the truth, Blanca. No, don't turn afraid in the iPhone. 
Wala na si Dave Padag, Dave ako nung... Atas, si Fred doon ang kaspin, si Aspin ni Kamara. Wala na lang yan, wala pa yan. No, Marcia never come. But I'm sorry if you are. Ah, Miss Phoenix, you just invite me. Ah, uh, and Tats and Josh and Cho. Josh is not coming, me ask. Whoa, the settings is nice. I will stay in here and entertain you. This is Tushy in the bush, guys. Whoa, fever grass and cucumber water. Whoa. Fever grass and cucumber. It is very cool up here. It's actually eh? You can touch me. Yo, enjoy the dog. Me stay in here, so I enjoy the, the yeah. Hi. Hi, Stosh. She's my friend and she's the best. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. I like your place. Wow, you won so many awards. I've, I'm, it's Miss Phoenix who uh, um, let me know about you. The, the food, Jamaica Food uh, Observer Food yes. Award. Whoa, you have won so many. Look here. She have won so many awards from the Jamaica Observer. The experience. Wow. Wow. How are you doing, my sweet? I'm good, guys. And you are on my live. Your dog nearly, <laughs> your dog nearly let me collapse outside. Hi. Can I show around? Give me just four. Yes, one. yes. To, yeah. Yes, shall observe. Shall check up something blank up people. Yeah, we're afraid to, right? The place is nice. Hi. And the kitchen, wow. My cats, look at those big dogs. Wow. Jesus, thank you, thank you, Jesus. The dog, they must sleep. <laughs> wow, fear. It is very red, Miss Phoenix. I want to come outside, but I'm afraid. It's just the fear. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I never experienced something like this in my entire life. Where my foot literally get weak. Ah. Wow. <coughs> See the beautiful place here, guys. Stush in the bush. Hi. This is very nice. The ambience. Yes. <laughs> wow. Lancash people just imagine if you went somewhere and the dogs come out at you. They are very friendly out here now. But I never know. I could have a heart attack. Eh? Yes, I, but I, let me just breathe. What is that? That's, um, yes. Come. Come on, let us up, man. Wonder why I'm not a cheer, eh? Yeah, yeah. She doesn't like dogs? No. I, I, I'm afraid of this side. I like dogs, but I've never experienced these big dogs. Yeah, they, they, they get good sized dog, all right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, my front me panic. Yes, 
Yes, may I have a mulberry margarita? Perfect. Hmm? <laughs> oh, delicious. Mm. Wow. Mm. And what's thanks to? Sia Lekka. <laughs> Roman? Funny I call again. Yes? That's what I need. Just what you need. No. <laughs> Und wie schmeckt's? Oh, yes? Yeah. Delicious, isn't it? Your favorite spot. The one that's the one that slides down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't like people touching. Yeah. Daddy? Daddy? Oh. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, Boo. Yes, that's my <laughs> Don't let him run. Don't let him run. I'm not showing them around. Mm -mm. I'm showing them. Around there says lizard. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'm afraid of the lizard. So you afraid of dog? Yes, I'm afraid of dog. Guys, this is so nice. This is berry drink and salt and pepper around the, the, the and sugar. The garnish, the, the glass with it is very, very nice. Very nice. So the trees, some beautiful spots in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> well, look up to me on the life today. Then I get terrified. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and look at these plates. Plates are very. Make sure that the plates are feeling. Yeah, this is a private booking, guys. I see Tammy saying something. Miss Phoenix, um, no other guests will be here today. It's only Miss Phoenix and her family. Oh, it's a mul mulberry margarita. Only Miss Phoenix and her family will be here today. No other guests. It's privately booked today. All right. All right. And the signal is very good here. It's actually farming, so you put your plate in the Oh, this, oh, watch her. She said, the, the, the plate, me think I did plate. So when you put, you can't put your finger food on it. So it's actually for mingling. 
So you can book this place, it's very nice and the road to come down here is very good. You just park at the top and you walk it down. Yes. So it's, it's a private setting today. Oh my god, look at the dogs. Look, with Can I stay right here? Let me sit right here. Wow. Yes. Now remember. So what is it that you have to do? Yeah, the place is so nice and beautiful. One Sorry, show no one. I am stuck right here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This day is very good, Mr. Phoenix. Hmm? The juice is very good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm wondering if I scared off the lady, the boss. Because I'm not lying. I had a fit. And they have to understand that when you're not used to something, or oh, they say this woman is not pleasant, looks deceiving. No. No, Miss Phoenix says she's not like that, she's going through something. She'll soon come and let TV? No, no, no. Other person notices it as well, but not just me alone. Jamaica, everything is money, people want. Guys. The owners, she's very, very nice. Yeah. Sometimes you have to be graceful and give people a little grace, you know? Yes. She's nice. So sometimes, you know, she's very, very, very nice. And we don't want the plankers to have anything bad to say about her. No. Because you know them. She is she's very, very nice. nice. She yeah. and they're fabulous people. Yes. I very. Yeah. Yes. Right, Mr. Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite places. Yeah. Uh, my foot is still weak. I'm not over the dogs yet, but I think um, it's very nice. The only thing that turns yeah. me off. I always say I love animals, but today I got a shock of my life. Yes, don't pass any judgment. Wait a little bit, you know. I got the shock of my life today. Just one of those days. I know until then I come. Yes. This is very, very nice. This. I know they put it. What one you having? What is that one? Lemonade? Is that lemonade? Ginger. 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 Okay, ginger. This is good. Really, really good. To be like that. Like, this is why a person don't like to be on like, social media and break or build your business. Um, they know that I was coming with the live. Miss Phoenix asked me to use the live because she told them and that I must, because um, I wouldn't come to this private place and just bring my live. So you notice I turned off my live and they asked me to bring my live and to get some. Them always, them already exposed. Them already established, can you see how much trophy they on the wall? 
so it's nothing like that guys I was asked to use my life here I didn't just pop for the people in nice bossy place and just turn on live with no permission all right yes I was asked by both Miss Phoenix and Mr. Phoenix and uh, to turn on my camera wow this is an experience I'll never forget. Can you control how many comments? No, I can't control. I have a phobia when it comes to big dogs. I got to bite me. Remember me telling her when me did little, and dog would bite me up and from that, me have this phobia. So when me see little dog, me not so panicky or so. But when me see big dogs, I have never seen that big so in my entire life. Me almost see them in a phone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where's Chris? And so these little. Yes. Okay, may I go for some more? Oh, you want all this? Uh, which one is the pineapple? This one? Okay, come hold this. Oh, I can hold this. Can yes. you get some? Yes, is it already going? Yes. I see, there you are. Okay, smile. Nice. <laughs> the other one is very nice. Yes. They're mixed. So style. To your life now. Yes, Mr. Phoenix, talk to them. Talk to the class. Excellent. Black this Carnation. is very nice. She Hello. wasn't here. Hey, Tommy. No. no, I wasn't. Oh, she had a formal interview for her. That's true. They just finished. Finish, finish cancel? No, don't go. Oh, it goes forever? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 so let me introduce you. Yes. I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Nice to meet you. Carrie? You're from Germany also? No, I'm from Seattle. Wow. Oh. oh, you're yes. from Seattle. So, yes. Carrie, her husband, Jamie, who's sitting there with the, your back. Was yes. Back. They are married. Yes. They work as high school sweethearts when I went to high school in Washington. Yes. And so we were in school together. Oh, you know Mr. Phoenix from school. And I stayed, I was an exchange program in, the, in Washington for yes. one year. And I stayed with uh, my husband's family, Jamie's family. Oh, yes. So we've been in contact. Ever since, yes. That's the first time you've been in Yes. Lucky. Yes, that Where did you take on her? Mostly the resort, but it's been lovely. We yes. went to, yeah, they came on, they came on Friday. I think it was the day when I was here, they came? No. It's a different set. Oh, on Friday. Oh. We, we, we met on Wednesday. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah that's in some canyon on Wednesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We came on Friday and yes. went right on the catamaran for a sunset cruise. Oh, so wow. Yes, so I heard about that one. Yeah. What? So how is it like? What do you, what does the experience like being the first time in Jamaica? Well, I've been to the Caribbean before, so that feeling of being tropical, I really, I love the flowers, the, um, I guess the, the ambiance. Ambiance. It's yeah. also relaxed. Like it's, it's just very. Did you take that to any of the rivers? No, but we saw yet. that waterfall that came in. Oh, the that's Dunn's River. Yeah. Laughing water. No, we weren't. Laughing, water. laughing water. Laughing water. Where is that? It's not far from the river. It's on the same. Okay, it's on the same stretch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've never heard about that one. See, mm -hmm. you came to Jamaica and you heard about. New. <laughs> yes, I've never heard about yeah. laughing water. Here you are. Pineapple and ginger. Is it the first time here also? Yes, it is. Oh, you're yeah, enjoying Jamaica. Let me have last. Do great. Love it. Love it. Yeah. And you love the dogs. I can see that. Oh, the dogs. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice, yeah. can come to places like this. Let me see your anti relaxer on there. Take it away. big good. Just need to come over the phobia. Yes. Wait till on my next trip. Yes, we nearly have an heart attack. We weren't going to have an heart attack in Jesus' name. No, I know. When it just happened, honest to God. Yes. Yes, I am. God was good all the time, God is good. The first time I came, I had a same. It was good. So and I don't have the dogs on the country. Yes, yeah, suppose you have guests who don't like dogs or who are terrified of Like me. They like them up? No, but they are so calm. I don't know, but when I come, they're never locked. Okay. They just control them and it's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's nice. Are you here, guys? Oh, look, look at coconuts. Show them coconuts in the tree. We can actually stretch grass and pick a coconut. It's so nice. Yes. Yes. Why the plankers laughing? Them love to laugh. 
Mm -hmm. No, not today. Mm. And it's so cool down here. She used to go out and put them in here. Mm -hmm. And um, funeral key. Mm -hmm. Those used red bones. Yeah, bungle them up. Long time when I see them plank up. Then you used to bundle them up. And, and then put them on grave. This is nice. This is carved in wood also. This is nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Beautiful. Your item is a red as well. There's a piece of There's a like an eye. Oh, can we take a minute to search it? Oh, wow. What you saw that spotted sign? Oh, like a vein. Do you have a. Yeah. I'm going to get the right thing. Okay, you're not getting a signal? You're getting something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So something. Yeah. I feel a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, don't take it I want to move from point A to point B, but I'm not one hundred percent comfortable. So I'm <laughs> still The dogs are over there, guys. But she's doing good. She's doing good. <laughs> no, yeah, well, they saw you coming back, and then when I started to see your face, then I just woke up and realized you were getting a panic attack. So I moved the camera from your face. I'm a foot and we're trembling. <laughs> Everything was just going the wrong way. I start crying in the start road. They hear me do. Yes, they could hear, but um. <laughs> Guys, made it sound terrible. <laughs> Guys, but it's so terrible. <laughs> Why, Jesus? I must want to move around, but I'm just still terrified. Until you said, like when your mother said you're going to shop and you're losing money. You're the same time, I'm afraid, and, and I look out to wear the good vibes, too. And it's not going to freak up the vibes. <laughs> You know, but we had a good vibe. <laughs> that time we had a good vibe suit, and the dark come broke up. But I'm so happy for a morning. Oh. Yeah, somebody sign? Oh, you're explaining? Yes. <laughs> Oh, the pineapple. Yeah, the carvings are very nice. Yes. The tour guide flopped today. <laughs> Pats, them did that too. Them did that laugh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the image show him the, the, the avocado, not the avocado, the single Bible. That's which knee? This one. This one. This. Is that aloe? Yes. Single Bible, aloe vera. You are you giving him a massage? No, I just want him to hold it on. You have here? Can you hear blue boiling? Yeah. What does it do? Food it? Yeah, man. Oh. Food it down number one and it's anti-inflammatory as well. You know? Okay. In uh, Germany, mm -hmm. zzz, zzz, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and this, annoyed. And this. You took out all of the, um, what do you call it, the collagen? What's that thing in your knee again? Collagen, yes. Collagen? Yeah. 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 But you operated on this one? Die haben hier schon operiert, oder? Ja, aber das ist schon zehn Jahre her. Achso. Und jetzt kommen hier neue Gelenke. Da wird hier aufgeschnitten total. Und da kommen 
then he's going to outdoor sur uh, surgery on his knees and, yeah. and new joints, new knee joints. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he goes cartilage. back to Germany. Cartilage. Yeah. That's oh, right. cartilage. Not more long. He's After post vacation. He's postponed the surgery to be able to come here. Okay, postponed the surgery to mm. come. Okay. So I'm going to give him a couple of leaves while he's here. Just have him do that on a regular. Okay. Just let it stay dry. <coughs> Everything. I'm not yeah. better him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. You want to have a Yeah. 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 Mr. Phoenix, Mr. Phoenix, come want to go over there and chop in the gym. I want to pass the dogs. Lord. One come on the side, Miss Phoenix. I'm right here. I'm yes. afraid of dog in particular. I'm afraid like you. He's chopping a jelly. Eat the coconut? I love coconut. Oh. <coughs> Jesus. Alright, All right, ladies. Enjoy us inside. We're about to start dining. Alright, I'll oh, move from here, so. Alright, come, come. Well, the admin, I wonder if admin can, um, admin can, um, pin the music. I'm going to try to pin the music. <laughs> not cash up, I do not own the copyrights there. Just spin it, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to spin the music. I just did it, I don't even see where it gone. Oh, let's see. I just spin the music and the comment gone. Okay, let me sit right here then. I'm sure one of the fool that it looks like. Me soon get up. Yes. Police. The Phoenix. There's Natalie. So, hey. Hi, Janet. Hi, Delroy. No, dear. Dina. Is Aina, homie. Stacy Ann. Dolma. And Marie. Shermel. Shermel. Leela. Ready for? Those are 
open. And then they are over there. All the persons on the team. Right over there. Get some get home. Yeah. Atmosphere is nice, guys. We're going to look bush. Look at the bush view. <laughs> ah, look at the bush view right down there, Sunny. That swing song, Natalie. Hmm? Down there, Sunny. That swing song. You going down there to swing? I would definitely go. <laughs> Stand on it and pump, you know? You know what I'm talking about when you swim, swing on swing song. Yes. Stand on it and pump. Hi. Hi. How are you? Pushing the bush Jen. is in Saint um, Anne. Claudia and Jen have been good friends of ours for a long time. <laughs> I love you. Right, for a long time. And all during COVID, you know, they were like customer numero uno. Um, and ordered tons of things every week long, all week long. Um, and Jen's has just been amazing um, from the beginning, and it's been really good to see him in fantastic. Okay. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So this is a family affair. So forgive me, I'm not going to go too much on the on the other side of that, but you know, it is a family affair. And once you come up here, as Hannah's will tell you, <laughs> once you have been here, you know, your family forever. Right? You're like his grandfriends forever. So that's how that works. So it's a beautiful thing to have everybody here today. And I hope I know you are going to have a great time. So we're going to start off with that amuse, and then we can talk a little after, okay? All right, cool. Very nice. And the food smells so good, and it's only vegetarian, guys. They don't cook meat. No form of meat. And everything is grown on the property. Everything is grown here. She sounds like she's from America, yes. She's very nice. She soon come and warm up with me, she told me. Yeah, she said, Auntie, I'm just going to the moment. Yeah, you know, you're just exhausted. Yeah, she reminds you of Opa. Okay. Very nice. Miss Phoenix said. Miss Phoenix said she don't want you guys to bash her. She's very nice. Yes. Okay, take up the napkins. And the mats, the, these mats look nice. Straw. These are Jamaican. Yes. And that's planting and cucumber. Oh. Oh. This is nice. So everything that is prepared here is grown here. Yes, most of it. Most of it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Chris farms the land. Okay. Oh, I inspect this for Joshi. Food. Oh, I bought something for Joshi. No, that's Joshi's spot. Oh. Oh, Joshi did. I didn't want to take him out school today because I took him out last week. His teacher was not having it. She said, Donna, you can't take Joshua out of school 
for, for another day. So we had to leave Joshua. So Joshua was originally booked to come. And Joshua teacher wasn't having it. She said, no, it's test time coming up. He has to be in school. So we had to leave him. What both the food, yes. So I she she uh, yeah, yeah, goes up in there. Yes. She turns it into art. Oh, she turns it into art. She's the artist in the so Mr. Phoenix said the husband grows the food and the wife turns it into art. Yes. And as long as you feel welcome. Yes, I'm alright. You know, someone can hold the camera so we I can see my baby. So I can have it with pepper? You can have it with pepper. Okay. What is it? I'm not a pepper person. What is this? So actually some tomato and tomato. Planting and tomato? No, it's actually watermelon. Oh, this is what? Yes. Cooked up? Yes. Wow. And then you have wasabini. Wasabini? What is wasabini? The green. Okay. And you also have a crispy ginger and some skillet curls. And the white thing that you see Green papaya oh, it's not cucumber. No, it's not. Oh, it's green papaya. Wow. Okay, so okay, let me try it. So, this is green papaya, shredded green papaya. Wow. Can we put a little pepper on it? I must have the leaf as well. This is very nice, actually. The pepper is hot. <laughs> oh. How was that? How was that? What did he say? Hot. Mm. No. Hot. 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 No, oh that. my God. Shab. 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 This Shab. is green papaya. Hot. Shab. I've never Give eaten this Shab. before in my entire Shab. life. Shab. 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 Spicy. Yeah. Shab. Shab. You see me talking German? Oh. Shab. <laughs> Pepper. And you? This is and this is. Okay, so I had the red one. Should I put this one? The side? pepper is wicked. Oh, the view it's a shab. Shab, shab. Mm. <laughs> the pepper is. Give us some of the yellow. So, what you do with the cucumber water? Drink it. Drink it. What? Yes. Yeah. So, what? Do you drink it? Or you pour it in your cup? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want some? Yes. Yeah. I'm trying everything, you know. I'm German tonight. Today. Oh, it's nice. We can get a little sugar, please. Hello? Can I get a little sugar in my hand, please? The pepper. Shab, shab, shab. This is shab. It is really spicy. Is it? Yeah, very. Very, very spicy. My love. And the pepper. I want a little sugar. <laughs> it is very nice but oh, hot really hot it's really hot mr phoenix you had your hands already yep nice. oh may i forget some food do this, so i don't do the yes i shouldn't take the pepper i'm not a pepper person let me taste the plant, you know, and the melon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you very much. My grandmother said, sugar, pepper, quail, sugar. Sugar, quail, pepper. Mm -hmm. the, pe the pepper is very spicy, my senior. Delicious. Oh, you said delicious. Delicious. Oh, you said 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 you said delicious. Oh, you you you
very, very nice. How was that? Yeah. Awesome. Very, very good. Delicious. Lady, come back. Yeah. Okay, so we are actually going to be down in the gazebo for appetizers, so you can leave all your heavy bags and all that other kind of stuff and just leave it down there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we're going to go down in the gazebo. Yeah. Yeah, we have to drop the dogs. <sighs> So we're going to go on a tour. Let the tour begin. Just getting started. Just getting started. I didn't know it was new one different, you know. So that's what we're all about. So I learned two German language today. Lecker, meaning delicious, and chav, meaning hot. Yes, guys, a lecker. Food was liquor. Woo! Okay. Okay. So here you go, guys. Appetizers right here. This here. is beautiful, guys. So how do people go about booking? When she finishes, she's okay. doing a presentation, that kind of thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican meze. A meze is a Middle Eastern term that means a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So you have a lot of little things that are across the table that you'll have an opportunity to try. So in the bucket you have some crispy fried plantain chips. They're done with co uh, in coconut oil that have a little pink Himalayan salt and cracked pepper. And then here you have some sweet potato and, I'm sorry, yam. Yam and pineapple, yellow yam and pineapple croquettes. They're actually breaded in bambi crumbs and coconut, right? They go really lovely with this chimichurri sauce and also with this tomato marmalade that you see that's on the table. So chimichurri is also something that we sell as well and so is the tomato marmalade. I think a couple people picked that up already. So it's done with cherry tomatoes and it has a little sweet orange, it has a little um, sour orange, or what we like to call civil orange here on the island. It has a little rind in it, and also some clove, brown sugar, brown sugar, lime juice, all of those lovely things, yeah? And then you have in these pots here, so there's one here, there's another one over here. These are what we call eggplant apras. So in Barbados, right, which I'm originally from, we have something called Bajan fish cakes. And in Jamaica, we also have something called salmon girls. So every Caribbean island kind of has its own fritter, right? So the fish that would be in the salt fish is replaced by eggplant and also some smoked nori. It's sitting with a remoulade sauce, and the remoulade sauce is plant-based mayo. It has a little paprika, it also has capers, and also a little fresh parsley. Goes really lovely with that. This here is a plantain ceviche. So the same way that you would have a fish cooked with the lime and the salt in the ceviche, you also have the plantain done the same way. So the plantain actually is kind of softened. It has a little sweet pepper. It has scallion, cilantro, um, lime juice, all of that. Really quite lovely, yeah? And then you also have these two pots here. Here and here, yeah? So that is our plantain cook-up. So in Jamaica, we have something called salt fish cook-up. So we've done it with roasted plantain. So it's a different application. So here you have green plantain, right, which is the chips, yeah? 
Then you have ripe plantain in the ceviche, and then you have a roasted plantain that's done with vinegar and thyme and scallion and all of that. So it has that same kind of a vibe, but it's completely different, yeah? Then uh, let's see, ah, these in the front. That is a curry mushroom tapenade, right? So we have oyster mush mushrooms that are growing locally um, in the Blue Mountains. And ideally speaking, because we love all things local, it's just really lovely to use them as well. So the mushrooms are done with roasted cashews and fresh herbs and a touch of curry. And it's really quite wonderful with the plants and chips as well. And then you have two last pots here. You have this one and this one, and that is a roasted pumpkin hummus. So it has a little maple syrup in there. It also has a little chili. It has toasted seeds on the top and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, right? Last two things. This is an almond hummus. Right? So later on, actually next course, you'll get a chance to try our almond feta. And so we make almond uh, ricotta as well. And so the milk is used to make the cheese. And the pulp that's left over, we make a hummus from it. So it has a little scotch bonnet honey, lots of cumin. It also has a little lepo pepper on the top, so it's really quite delicious. So these are what you're going to use for mingling, yeah? And should you need to have a drink with it, your glass fits into the plate. So you have an opportunity to kind of just move around and not have to look for your glass. Yeah? All right? So bon appetit, guys. I hope you enjoy. Oh, last two things I forgot. Yeah? Pepper sauces are on the table. So anyone who loves fire, yes, and flavor, you have two pepper sauces. One is blow fire, which is the green one. It's a raw pepper paste. And it actually has green scotch bonnet, it has ginger, garlic, cilantro, a little coconut oil, cane vinegar, and all of that. It's really lovely. It's kind of like Christmas iteration on the table. Um, and then you have Don't Take a 649, which is a Bajan pepper sauce, which is my iteration on the table. So it also has a little bit of colonialism, colonialism in the jar, it has some mustard in there, and the Carib Indians at that time would not have had mustard that came with the English, yeah? So those are two. They're both hot. They have small spoons. Respect the small spoon because, <laughs> right, you want to ensure that you don't go overboard. Yes? All right. But it is lovely. Both are hot. Both are different. They have tons of flavor. So I encourage you to try them. Yeah? All right. So go and have yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Tammy, I'm done on. Tammy says you have to eat some of the um what do you call it? The pepper? Yeah, the yellow one, the chili sauce this time. <laughs> stay away from the peppers. Everyone is saying stay away from the peppers. So this is Auntie's play guys. Planting it's coconut coriander. This is green rock rye planting. Spice up it is really good. This is nice. It's African. Have a nice flavor. And that is, it's like a salty fritter, but it's different. Mm -hmm. It is, it's very ripe, the, the roasted plant, you know, cook up like a cake. Mm. Just like a cake, salty, yes, salty. Hello. And take a little vinegar in there. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, I thought you were wrong with you. Hello? Yeah, I'm not telling you wrong. It really tastes good. Very lovely. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay guys, we're going to cut and we're going on the tour. Um, I turn on the phone here. Food is really good. So I'm going to cut and give the phone a little charging. And when um, we're touring the place, I'll give a little view. Alright? Yes. Very good. And go back and refill the food with food. This is the bomb. This nice. And it have a flavor to it like them dip it in some sauce. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the finish uh, is double double dollar. Stush in the bush that come it's only only can book online. You can't come here and pay for anything. So I'm gonna come back again, alright guys, see you later. I know. Thank God they will support my Alright, so I'm coming right back when we're getting a tour of the place, alright? I won't be the tour guide this time. Alright. See you soon. She's going to share the story of how this place started. So I'll bring the blanket here and still listen. This is Bush. Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. So I want to say welcome again to everyone. Um, first place is this is our home. So um, this is where Lisa and I started life together. Um, I'm also from this village originally. So my four parents have been here as long as I know, at least eight generations. My oldest living relative that I remember was uh, husband and wife, Hezekiah Walker, and his wife, Francis Walker, known as Muma and Pupa. And um, they passed when I was just a little boy. Um, Mama actually died. Mama actually died with a piece of paper. So, <laughs> so I was like very um, close to my family now. I've always will be. And this land that we're on is the family's family's land. So it, it's where we grew up. It's where we grew our food. It's where we came for recreation. It's um, also first place in Jamaica where I took my my wife Lisa which you guys have met but I'm probably getting a little ahead of myself I'm going to share something with you first Just one yeah. quick question. Mm -hmm. when did you start all right so Lisa and I um, well I was born in 1971 I'm going to write back to the beginning so I was born on the other side of that hill 1971 my mother her grandmother migrated to Canada and I made the migration to Canada in 1981, 10 years later. Same year, Bob Marley transitioned, incidentally. <laughs> yeah, I find, find that powerful. Um, Jamaica was in the middle of a civil war, essentially. Yeah. So two political parties were fighting for control of our beautiful island. And it involved the United States, it also involved Cuba. Um, so there were other proxies. and. I was a rebellious kid and I think my parents thought this boy is gonna get involved in this thing, you know. So send him to Canada to the coldest place on the planet and freeze the rebellion out of him before he starts. So <laughs> I did that and I lived there for No, this is Bush. Ten years in Winnipeg, five his years. His wife in Toronto. is Tosh. And while all of this was going on, 
Jamaica was transforming and I didn't even know. So we went from being at this kind of state of war, but at the time we were very productive. We used to grow lots of bananas. We were known for our sugarcane, pineapple. Um, there were a lot of things that were coming out of Jamaica going to the rest of the world. When I came back, that ended. And Jamaica was primarily on this method of consumption, consuming. So most of what we are consuming here on the island is exported from the United States. A lot of our trees, as we will go and talk about our trees, are also exported. <laughs> Although Jamaica is the land of wood and water, probably over 70% of the trees that are here that we know are from other places in the world. Some are from New Zealand. Sugarcane was not from Jamaica. The English brought sugar here because it was an industry. But I have one true Jamaican. Pimento. All right. Pimento. And to them you know what? Uh, yes. So we're not even going to say the name. Yes, it's a pimento tree. pimento tree. But if you go to a right. country of Jamaica, you know it. Before Auntie Debbie, like how you know Auntie it? Auntie Donna. Auntie Donna, pardon me. I have an auntie named Debbie, you know? Yes. That's Zinga, man. So she's Zinga. black and beautiful like yes, you. Yes, yes. So what I want you to do, you're going to rub this leaf. This is future. Just rub them funny and And when you rub the leaf, I want to take the leaf. Remember, rub the leaf. Focus. Yes. <laughs> rub up the leaf and don't think about the name. Just tell me what you smell without saying the name. So this is a, a indigenous Jamaica. One of the few trees that actually grow here in Jamaica and no place else. Rub it up, then. Rub it up. Rub it up. But chances are you will know the flavor, you will know the scents, maybe you've used it before. Perhaps He's the tour guide. A dish of some sort. The tour guide is Bush. He's the wife. He's a husband. This is Jamaica. Bush is the wife. This is Jamaica in a leaf. In a leaf. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is Jamaica. Um, <laughs> give, it in a give it to tourists. Give it to tourists. <laughs> you still free. Yeah, man, him like those places. Jesus. <laughs> Me too. Him time, him deep right in on the sea. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 All right. Yes. 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 something sweet. I know. Hey. Okay. All right. Give me the German word. Let me see if I can. Wait. 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 It's a nutmeg, you say nutmeg? Maybe. Maybe. Old spice. Old spice. Maybe. Okay. Old spice. Old spice. Old spice. Old spice. Clove, you get clove as well. You keep going. Keep going. Cinnamon. Oh, you guys have good noses. Keep going. Keep coming around. Pimento, you smell the pimento itself. Well, cinnamon. If you had to say pimento without saying it was pimento, how would you describe it? So it smells like Christmas. Like nutmeg. It smells like Christmas. Yes, yes definitely. Yeah. Why? Well, I never know that. This is new to me. So why does it smell oh. like Christmas? Mm -hmm. For those that say it smells like Christmas. Because, because we use it in the kitchen. Cinnamon. It's using a particular dish. Yes. Right. Ham. Um. Ham. Um. Yes. All right. But in Jamaica, so, we have another type of cooking, which if you don't have this, you can't, have, you can't cook it. Are you supposed to go? The, the distinctive the Jamaican flavor. Mm -hmm. Go deeper than that. Pork? What kind of pork? <laughs> No. no, come back to me. Come back what to me. You're, you're, on, you're on the track, but what kind of pork? Um, um, no, not what jerk. kind of pork. Not what kind of jerk. 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 jerk pork. pork. Any kind of jerk. Yes, mm -hmm. you can't do it without permission. This is the distinct flavor yes. of yes. jerk. The rest of us will know it huh? as all Yes, Blanca Shop. You guys smell it too. So you guys it call smells it all good. Spice it smells good. 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 It smells so the the man said it dog. Like I come, I, I come off a way down, but the man flavor. said it like this. <laughs> obviously, also aromatic. So if you're uh, well, marinating the meat, the lens. You want to clean you can now. chop up the leaves or just foggy. put the leaves on the meat and it will imbue those flavors. Yes. Um, the wood is one of the hardest woods here on the island. And the wood is also aromatic. So it's like when you're doing your barbecue with hickory, you could do your barbecue with pimento, and that's how you get the distinct flavor of jerk. 
Other than that, like every herb, every bush that we have here to see around you, it also has a medicinal aspect. Mm -hmm. So for anyone that having like tummy issues, yeah. steep three leaves, five leaves, or seven leaves. Three leaves, five leaves, or seven leaves. Always odd numbers. Always odd numbers. And that, as a tea, after you steep it, can help to soothe any kind of stomach upset, hangover, you eat something that you don't like, that's making you go uh -huh. So, okay. like all plants here, they have oh, many different water. purposes. All right, let's walk before somebody... Oh, has Jesus! The American all spice That's why I got the name. All spice, more spice. I see Cho Cho. Yes, I see Cho Cho. I see white Cho Cho. Okay, alright. I agree, man. Can I pick one? Sure, if you want to jump in. So look at the Cho Cho. I'm showing their scene. I'm getting it. All right, pick, pick one. Kind of. We put it in the ground and it just spring up and now it's taking over the whole place. Yes, so I got a chow chow. Yeah. <laughs> saltfish, this nice with saltfish. Salted codfish. So this is going to be this is gonna be in your menu later on. Oh, we're going to get chow chow later. Yeah, so I'm not even going to talk too much about it because I don't want to preempt the menu, but chow chow, we're going to talk about it more when we go down on the farm, but it's a type of squash. Cho -cho. Also known as Chayote or Christophine and another name that I always forget. And, uh, yes, and we have also Cersei. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yes. So, spotting all the bushes. Ingrid, be of yourself. So, we keep going. This one is going to be in your menu later on. Um, especially the white one. If you have issues with things like high blood pressure, it's recommended that you have this regular and helps to kind of bring down your pressure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that on the red stuff? You have the cocktail? Yeah, oh that's the berries. That's the more. Well, let's show that we want to get the berries. Come this side, come this side. Oh, we have to go that, walk that way. Come on, come on. the berries. So you it's plant raining. all these trees? Yeah, a lot of them we have planted, like that one there. Um, someone was asking that long time ago how long we've been here. This tree has been here as long as Lisa and I have what been here. What is that? Is that cedar? Uh, probably one of the most distinctive lumber trees. Oh, on mahogany. The mm -mm. National what? tree of Jamaica. On a lignum vitae. National oh. flower of Jamaica is lignum vitae, but the national tree is blue maho. the blue maho. Oh, yes. So the blue maho oh, so is actually yes. a member of the hibiscus or Monrovia family. It looked different. Hibiscus. First yeah. thing I saw this name, blue maho, if honest you, to God. It looked different. If you look at the blossom right there, you'll kind of see the resemblance to a common hibiscus before it opens. And if you look up in the top, you'll see the national bird of Jamaica. Dr. Bird. He's right, up there right red now. Red beak. Well, Two scissor tails just hanging out. He's oh just God. hanging out oh, right there. Oh, yeah, Dr. Yeah, just, Bird. Up there. Yeah. He lives up in there. Up there. The same thing? Yes. Flower. Flanker yeah. people yeah. look right skinny to me. They do. Black bird yeah. right there. Same. With the red mouth, red orange mouth. Or orange, orange red mouth. Look, can you see him? I he can. Flanker, want to see him? Yeah. He All just right. flew off. So, the national bird in the national tree. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yes. Hi, Biscuit. Um, Lisa and I. Hey, 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 Jesus. Come, 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 come. come bite you down there. No running, no running. No, if you run, they attack you. So Lisa and I planted this come probably say, come. our come. first come. Uh, year, or no, year or two together. He said no running, no running. Yeah, one, but it shot up really quick. But not only the kids, it also just... And I say, kush, kush, kush. <laughs> you say people are can well it. Why? Yes. So now the best. Guys, then I call the baby kush, 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 come. Kush, go. It's for us, that's the best thing about nature, when nature starts to work for you. Why? <clears throat> 13 years, April 2009. Yeah, long story.
Guys, look at the dogs. I have one already. Yeah, yeah. And I hope to have a lot more. This one. All right, go down here. We'll talk about this one. Because this one is a special baby. Come on, guys. Do we need an umbrella? It's really. Love Lane. Okay, guys, we're going into Love Lane right there. Okay. Aren't we going to get wet, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Just a little water. I thought it was cool. Me too. Can I get a banana leaf umbrella? Well, I wanted to give you a little more about these trees here that whoops, remind me your name, sir? Jamie. Jamie asked about um, and I wanted to give you a little more about Love Lane too but we'll talk as we go along but these are known commonly as whistling or weeping willows oh really yeah. the ones you have in the states they're called um, pine trees <laughs> well they look like this and you know what uh, for years I thought this was a pine you oh, call what? it Caribbean yeah. pine but Caribbean pine is a variety that looks like this but is distinctly different these now have this amazing ability of when the breeze passes through them to kind of give you this strange sound. Mm. So if we can go silent for a little bit, we'll see if nature will um, cooperate. Ready? So we're going to go silent for like a minute. Three, two, one. Blanca people, I heard you guys telling everybody to be shh. The tree going like a sea. You heard that? Yes, yeah, going like the ocean. Like the ocean. Huh? Yes. So we all should have heard that before the fall. Yes. <laughs> this sound like the ocean. Like the ocean. It kind of sounds like um. Well, it sounds like the rain, but we were hearing the rain as well. But you could hear the two of them distinctly different. Yes. Check it in. He's good. You shouldn't be doing it, but yeah. he'll, he'll be fine. What they chew doing? this. They chew things like uh, oh, glass, the rock. The wire. rock. I don't know what's yeah. up. It's I don't like, know why he's chewing They're planning the to chew up something <laughs> harder than this at some point. Yeah, he's cutting his tongue. Mm -hmm. It's called, it's called <laughs> whistling it's or weeping willows. And where this tree, the blue mahal, we propagated by seed, these propagate by the roots. So we planted one two, three, four, and another one down there makes five. All the other ones that you see, including these over here, have planted themselves. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. However, um, they are technically called an invasive species. Meaning that not only they're not from Jamaica, I think they're either from New Zealand or Australia or some place like that. They brought them here for some specific reason, I can't remember. And since then, like here, anywhere where you disturb the roots, where it breaks off and comes up above the soil, it pops up another plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're over there, they're over there. We planted one, two, three, four, five. So, well, if you allow them, they'll basically take over the whole place. And if you look down below your feet, you'll notice that there is absolutely nothing else growing here. So they are highly acidic. 
and they create this kind of suffocating carpet. So nothing else will grow? Nothing else will grow. Okay. And if you leave the leaves there long enough, it will start to kill the trees themselves. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. This they're tree also, itself? Their own, the tree? Their own trees will kill, kill. The, the tree themselves. So okay. we typically try to rake it. Um, they're also highly flammable. Yes. So not, not a place to throw your cigarette because you, you're going to have a forest fire. Uh, in an instance. Now, how I know that, kind of, I'm going to give you a little bit of, of, of our story. So, Lisa, the chef, the foodie, the sexy fashionista, born in Barbados, New Yorker, your wife, in Jamaica, and also my queen, yeah, <laughs> and empress, was visiting Jamaica in the year 2009. At that point, if you guys come down a little close, I had built my first cabin on the land right where you see that building there. Okay. Right? Um, at that point, I was just embracing the philosophy and the lifestyle of Rastafari. So I was growing my locks, was going fully plant-based, um, trying to integrate with my community. Um, I had been back in Jamaica probably about 12 years when I met her. But for about 10 years out of that, I basically didn't leave this property. So I was on here, we built our house, a couple of Rasta men, we cut some posts in the woods. Uh, <laughs> we bought some corrugated iron, which we call zinc here on island, um, some ply board. It wasn't even finished when I first moved in, there was no floor, it was just rocks. But I was very happy to be out on my own. And because the family had said if I was going to be a Rasta, I could not stay in the family house. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Rastafari, although Rastas are celebrated in the culture of Jamaica, the history of Rastafari is, is of being rejected by the Jamaican society. Not just the society, but the government, the police always target Rasta because we were always smoking our weed, our sacrament, which nowadays people call it legal cannabis. <laughs> All over the world, people are selling this thing that my brothers and sisters were locked up, brutalized. They yeah. forcefully trimmed our hair with broken are, bottles. Um, families were destroyed by having criminal records just for possession of, of cannabis. And um, when I told my family, I didn't even tell them, I just stopped Prettying up my hair, but worst of all, when I stopped cutting my beard, I remember my aunt. She said to me, she come to me one day and she saw me with my beard. I normally would do cane rolls, and she came, locks pull out, beard well up. She said, Chris, oh my God, you're Todd Rasta. <laughs> yeah, and my mother told me, do not come back to Jamaica as no Rasta because you will shame the family. Wow. Oh. So it was a choice that I couldn't have made any other choice because this is who I am. And for many years, if you saw me, I was like clean shaved, like none of you are. Yes, Mr. Phoenix is translating for two of our guests. I was a proper Canadian kid, but in my heart and my soul, there was a voice that was saying, this is the way you're supposed to live. Um, you're supposed to be one with your fellow man, with plants, with nature. You're not supposed to be one against any man, no religion, no culture, no creed. His Imperial Majesty said, until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes, then Bob say we will always have war. And that is what's happening in the world today. Mm -hmm. We still separate ourselves by class, color, religion, race, which side of the hill you live on, what kind of food you eat. But on very few things do we unite, if any, if any. We find a million different things to separate us. So all that was going through my head. <laughs> and I was living in this little house. I was not traveling. I don't even know if my passport was um, valid at the time. I'm pretty sure it had expired. And uh, 
I started to come out after a while because I was going through my own transformation. So one of the parts about Rastafari is that um, Rastafari um, utilizes polygamy or it has polygamy as part of the culture. And at that time, I was all into that. <laughs> Straight up. My father was what you would call a gallus. Yes, he's Jamaican. Right? He Good looking Jamaican went man, tall, just like I am. Smooth as butter with the ladies. <laughs> and when I saw him as a kid, I was like, I want to be like him. <laughs> and when I got to Canada, and I was like one of the few black kids in my school speaking my Jamaican twang, ooh, I got to be like him. And I took mm. that and I ran with it. Right? So I became him. A lot, a lot of girls cheating on everybody. I had very little um, self-respect. Because when you uh, cheat on someone, you lose your self-respect. Because you have to be... Um, you have to be an imposter to the person that you get. Right? And when I was back here in this cabin, alone most of the time, I got to face those demons. I got to see myself. And I got to see... There's a... Probably the most biggest, the word Gallus, maybe the biggest Gallus in Jamaica. Anybody want to guess who that is? Most famous Jamaican Rasta man? Bob Marley. Bob Marley is one of the biggest Gallus. Bob have how many kids? I don't even know. And how many women? And counting? Still counting. Very Solomonic. I remember Solomon had, what, 786 concubines and 300 wives. So Rastafari took this. You all right, McKay? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right, let's walk a little. Let's stretch yeah, it out. We're going to get you some sugar cane. I think you want some sugar in the back. No, that's all right. Keep yeah. medicating. So, one of the main things I learned being in there by myself, Bob Marley's son, Ziggy, he have a song. And in the song, he says, My father had a lot of women, caused my mama a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Seeing? But mm -hmm. I never saw it from that aspect. I just saw it from, from my side. But being there got me to confront all of that. So, when I came out, I was ready to settle down. One wife. <laughs> All right. So you, you mentioned that back in the day, Rastafari um, in Jamaica was looked down at. Um, I, are you seeing any changes now? I think there's a lot of changes now. Um, the government, I, I, I think, just want to clear that up, has given Rastafari a lot of respect. No, no, it's not back like back then. The Police used to just pick up Rasta yeah. parents back in the days. It's yeah. more civilized. No, I, well, I, I respectfully disagree with you. I think it's the same. And if you want to see how, how much hasn't changed, you just have a Rasta man do something bad and see how mid, oh, immediately you hear the word dirty Rasta. Immediately. Even with people that I know. That has, but it's it's in the culture. The police used to use Rastafari as targets, so we might have this um, celebration of Bob Marley and the image because Bob brings money to Jamaica and billions. And Bob gave us a message that was one love. Who couldn't who couldn't love such a message that we should all love each other? Yes. But Peter Tosh said, "Give me." I don't want no peace. Give me equal rights and, and justice. Yes. And you don't hear about Peter Tosh. They killed Peter Tosh. They killed Bob too. So I, I respect what you're trying to say, but not much not change. Until Rastafari get like cannabis, ganja, right? Ganja was Rastafari sacrament from day one, right? They brutalized us from day one for ganja, right? And they legalized ganja now and them say, all right, Everybody in Jamaica can five, plant five plants. Me as a Rasta man, you can plant as much as I want, but guess what? Guess what? I can't sell it. I cannot sell it. So everybody else have an ability to make money off of this sacrament except I and I. What kind of... Come down, Chris. Chris, yeah. there's also there's also discussion about about children in school and, and, and dogs, right? Uh, yeah. 
That's all. That's all. That's even the, yeah, not allowed to. No, yeah, this one child they wouldn't let him go to school because you have. So what's the result of it? Just the children, of course. That's what I'm talking about. And I don't really want. We are the Rasta. We don't make our own school. There was a discussion and a debate, right? And person was saying that there should adhere to the school rules. Some schools allow kids to wear earlocks. I think they should implement it. Well, right. So I think they, I don't know if it is already in, but I think the government should look into that because some school, while I was growing up, there were Rasta man in, Rasta students mm -hmm. at my school and they, I remember Irie, they never troubled them, but I don't know now. Well, you know what, I, woof, woof, woof. what I think we have to do as Rasta far, we have to create our own schools, our Jesus, own why institutions. Why is he going like that? They're just playing. Come on. Oh. We have to create our own institutions. We can't be asking the government for anything or anything for that matter. Then again, we still have to go with the rules of the government. All right, you see the rules? Did you know slavery used to be legal? Mm -hmm. Right. Never know that. Whoa. Of course. Of course. That's how the whole thing got started. And until people started to say, you know what, that is a rule that we don't accept. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Yeah, just move your foot. I can't move it. Move your foot. That's not the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's not get off track. Lots to talk about. Um, about plants. Everybody knows the compost. Yeah, children, the yeah. chocho. So everything like that you eat here. today, whatever is left behind, goes into that compost, and that compost is how we feed our garden. So one of the main issues that we have in the world today is that our food systems are not sustainable, and I'm going to show you one of the most non-sustainable crops that we have right now look up at that plant oh, up banana. there all right yeah the ananas banana ananas ananas anana. 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 no it's a pineapple you said anaza i think oh, that's, oh, oh, that's german right. ananaza so <laughs> yes the banana was one of jamaica's most valued assets for years along with sugarcane and it's probably one of the world's most loved fruits or hated depending on you know, if you had a good banana or not, especially. Um, who loves banana? Yeah. Banana lovers. Who hates the banana? I, <laughs> I have good news for you. The yeah. banana is going to be extinct by the year 2035. Okay. Oh. No. Why? Very good question. Oh, sorry. Hmm? Water? Well, water use is one of them. Not necessarily why it's going to be extinct, but when we're talking about the issues that we have with our production systems, especially for food, we've created production systems to supply vast quantities of people, right? Our population is like six, seven, eight billion and growing, and we feel the need that we should have more than enough food to supply all those people. And because of that, we've created production systems that value productivity over vitamins over the nutritional value for your body and also over diversity so the most common banana that used to be on the market probably about 20 years ago was called the gross michel which mm -hmm. this is it right here yes yes that's it the gross michel is a cross between a wild banana called bodo's Otefort and one of the local common varieties. Uh, what's distinctive about the show is the curvy fingers. But the, where you see like your common bananas have our fingers are straight, the gross Michel has kind of a curve, kind of like a moon curve to it. So the gross Michel was destroyed by a virus. And one of the main reasons why this virus was so destructive is because banana plantations are typically monocrop environments. So they plant thousands of acres of banana and nothing else. 
they also typically plant only one variety. So when you have that type of homogeneity and you have any type of outbreak, whether it be insect, whether it be virus, or whether it be a storm, one thing can wipe out everything. And that's what happened to the gross Michel. That is what then after the gross Michel got wiped out, they brought in another banana called the Cavendish. The Cavendish now is the banana everybody gets. Everywhere you are in the world, like Chiquita bananas if you're in America. The Cavendish now has developed a virus called um, Tropical Race 4. And the same thing is happening again. It is liquidating banana plantations all over the world. And because of the way they're growing the bananas, they cannot figure out a way how to control this virus. So they're predicting that possibly the banana might be extinct by 2035. A crop that we grew up with in Jamaica. But that's the good news for you. <laughs> Just to... No. Say again? It sounds as if it's the It is. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. And it's not just one. They keep... And it's, it's wired into how we grow. So if you look around the farm, the garden, one thing you'll notice is that we have a diversity of plants, Different number one. Plants, yeah. Different plants. Like the chocho. Look you got the chocho. Because hmm? that's the nature of the chocho. It grows, it creates a fruit, and then the fruit becomes a plant. So go ahead and pick up one that's growing and you can come and show it to us. I know that in Germany as well, the whole forests are just monocultures of trees. Yeah. And now we have specific insects that kill off yeah. all of forestation in Germany. Yeah. And it's, yeah. just, it's monocultures that just exactly. die off. Exactly. So what we okay, guys. practice is what you call a polyculture. And, and the main effort is to have the, the, They fall off the tree plant, and then they start to grow. Also, you know the from here, look at it. And you plant them back and then you get these a chocho tree. These are there for pollinators, these are there for the birds. Nice. Things and the older the chocho, the more food they are, then become. Like so like this now, when you cook it, it's kind of hard. And these ones, kind of soft. So I'm just going to pull one of them and then I'll make Ideal. Ideal. And my sister is talking about the chocho as she harvests. Right? I pick this one. This one is growing. It's growing. All right. Yes. So I'll give you a little, um, a little funny. There's a lot under the air. No, you could be picking forever. My Don't. God, there's, there's so Mind many chocos. Ten dollars. Ten dollars, please. Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Not Jamaican dollars either. Ten dollars. So apparently, mm -hmm. um, the Jamaican language has over. 50 different words for certain parts well, of the female Why never see more chocho anatomy. one place? And one of them is chocho. Certain part of the female anatomy. Hmm? <laughs> you see it. <laughs> so, other than that, I think it's amazing that a plant that looks like this is actually growing from that same spot. And I always say, if you did not know that the universe was a woman, well, this is all the evidence that you need. Oh, the cho, -cho the yes. Cho -cho. So the cho, -cho grows from the tongue. From the cho, Miss Jesus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, honestly. The cho, -cho so, grows from the tongue. Directly. So if you're going to plant this, which typically I don't, I don't think I planted this one initially. We had some that we didn't use. We tossed it in the compost and then it started to grow. Yeah. And then they keep falling off and they keep growing and they keep growing. So all of this is actually compost. Yes, pure cho, -cho. So, But it does I'm kind of bugger. die down once yeah. a year. And when it does that, we'll go through and we'll harvest the compost and we'll see what else happens. Um, another really cool aspect of plants is that all of your food, everything that you eat typically starts as a blossom. So even the cho, -cho that I have in my hand, this is the beginning of it. The blue. The, the blue. Right. Mm. Just like we call it anina. Anana. Same process. It's a blossom of the pineapple plant. It comes from right down in the top. Scan back up back to the banana. Look at that mm. one. Look mm. at this banana now. Mm. Right? So the one in the back is more mature. This one here. As I was saying, is basically a giant blossom. 
So here are the little parts of it. And as it matures, it's shedding these blossoms. And if you look closely at it, you'll notice that the fingers are turned down. And why it does that is because it has to hold the whole, when that first comes out, it's this big. Mm -hmm. But it's contained in one giant blossom. Mm -hmm. And if you're here in the farm, you'll actually hear when she's giving birth. She squeaks. Yeah, she's forcing herself through that tiny little space right up there in the top of the banana. Seriously? And because she's forcing that large, think about it like an embryo. It apparently takes nine months for the banana to produce. So it does have womanly contacts again. And then here it's coming out. It's solidly inside this. And as it matures, it's just dropping them off. Yeah, I know that. It's just dropping them but. off. And then the banana will slowly go from this and it will turn up. Right? Like that one, like that one, like that one. And on the end, you will still have the stem, they still have a little bit of blossom on there, which some cultures, Southeast Asian cultures, in fact, um, all over the world, people eat all different parts of the banana. So, at least three different varieties in the short space. This one is the cousin of the Gros Michel. This is my family's heirloom banana. Okay. So I brought it. This one, if we harvest this one, that's it. So we chop it down, but it's going to give you babies. So in another nine months, another nine months, although my staff is chopping off the beast for decades. Look at the dark oxen out the coconut by himself. So all of your food. Starts as a blossom, which I think is beautiful because we ate some flowers today. And it seemed like so weird. Oh, we can't eat flowers. We're always eating flowers. Mm -hmm. But we're eating the end product. Prudence, all I never know yes. that. So I'm going to learn something today. I'm going to eat flowers today. We'll First in my life, I had flowers. Okay. Edible okay. flowers. Nine months. Mm -hmm. So we're going down the bush yeah. now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go. So this is where we live now. We're gonna circle that space there. They call these afros. Are these edible too? No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't think so. I don't know, but I don't think so. They're primarily going to be ornamental and you shake them up. They're not they're edible, guys. Well, I know this is that we get good signal here. The phone signal is off. A lot of the phone towers for St. Anna. Are you think the dark canal? Yes. That's a dog kennel, guys. It's bad. Should I just pick up the coconut and up them? When I'm ready. Until when I'm ready. So it's their favorite tree. Yeah, I know. Wait. Have it. Come. Let's see it. Guys, this dog. We're going on to the cane field. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on. We're going to the cane field. Go on, go on. Come on, guys. We're going down to the cane field. Watch your step. Just watch, watch your step. Side to side like a duck leg. Side to side like a duck leg. Side to side like a duck leg. I wouldn't want to jump on the camera. Go on, go on, go on. What time is it? Oh, this is what we had today, green papa. Yes. Oh, you're going to chop a cane? Sure. So you do all this farming or you have somebody that works for you? I have people that work for them. Okay. None of them are working today, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Here, and that's the green papa over there. The cane. Right. So all of these trees came the from the blue and the color. Mm -hmm. well, that is the edible flower that you add to that? Which no one. Oh. Uh, they used to call this jump up and kiss. 
If you eat it, a little blossom, you squeeze it and it pop. You remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, we have a school. Yes, yes. yes. Come on, guys, be nice. <laughs> what are they saying? Hmm? We're going into the farm. Oh, fall down. Oh, don't turn the camera. Don't turn it. Don't do that. <laughs> Walk like a duck. Walk like a duck. Walk side. Or a lobster. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sideways. There you go. Yes. There you go. God, these planker people will laugh at it. <laughs> hmm? Can you please go? Move. Shh. Shh. Go. go. Should I go first? <laughs> Guys, cherry tomatoes, bird pepper, bird pepper, bird what pepper. else? Is Other kinds of pepper. <laughs> okay, so, so we've got to garden right here. Irish potato, or what do you call it? All of it over there. Yeah. Jelly and thyme. And scotch bonnet pepper. Well, I know scotch bonnet, that's still. Avocado, no, no. Avocado. Avocado, okay. avocado, yes. avocado, ah, and some more over that side. Yeah. Yeah. This is pear. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Papa. Papa. Papaya. Papa. Papaya. 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 Anybody was from Jamaica must know this. This is jump up and kiss. Oh, boys, cannabis. It yeah, fly we got off. some cannabis. <laughs> Mine's <laughs> open up by itself. No <laughs> cannabis. So <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, she's scared. Just touch it. Just squeeze it. It just open up. Squeeze. Give me one more. Yeah. Squeeze. Yeah. Ooh, well, that one didn't pop. Yeah. It's a plant. It, it's a flower. Mm -hmm. Right. So. And this is just ours, no? It's named Jump Up and Kiss me. Jump Up and Kiss me. It actually pop opens in your hand. Right. Oh, you have time tree too. Yeah. So, I'm kind of just curious of most things, but. Give me one more, please. When we talk about. Hey, it's fine. Let's not have it. Let's not have it. Let's not have it. We're not going any further down. <laughs> so we're not getting the cane. Yeah, ma, we're going to get the cane. That's how you go. Right. So, simply kind of fun just having it, but nature invents all of these really cool ways to sustain itself. Yes. Right? When it matures, it's hot, yeah. hops, and they spread. <laughs> and this is why... <laughs> so why you plant them with the vegetables? Why we plant? Very good question. So, most agriculture is, especially what you call conventional agriculture, is heavily dependent upon pesticides. Oh. Right? So, in my garden, we use no form of pesticides, neither organic or conventional. Yes. But what we do use is plants to act to some attract beneficial insects. Oh. And then some will repel insects that you don't want. Oh, some of the so plants. This one is an attractor. Bees love the color. They're going to come here. They're going to pollinate this. And they'll also pollinate my plants. Right? Oh, okay. Oh, good. So, and that is exactly what you want. You want as little work as possible. Also, you want things that have a strong scent, like yes. this one here. You can take a piece of that. And what is this? It. Smell it. Smell it. Use your nose. Wow, this smell, smell like mint too. Mm. Is this some form yes, of mint? How did you learn all this? Um, I don't have another job. So, <laughs> this is all I do 24 7. I smoke weed. This knowledge that is disappearing. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I, I'm lying. A lot of it I got from my grandma. Okay. Same mama that raised me. Yeah. The basics came from her. But those times we didn't necessarily have the terminology. You knew bush. You knew bush that was good for this, good for that. And when you were growing food, your primary concern was the soil. So you're always trying to build soil. You're always trying to grow richer soil so you would be composting cannabis you'll find the cannabis the <laughs> theme <laughs> oh, so we're gonna come we're gonna come that side now yeah yeah i wanted to just 
So one of the key elements of a garden like this is is the diversity. Sorry guys, I'm sliding. Of a monoculture. <laughs> Yes, guys, the reception here is very um, beautiful. Vervine and is the connection is what was being very strong. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. One yeah. Right? Yeah. What is it? This is yeah. Idaho or what you call Irish potato. Oh, well, that's an Irish potato grow. Scallion. They grow like a tree. Mm -hmm. They're seeing blossoming. it. Yeah. So, this also attracts pollinators. And then we have one of the most uh, distinctive peppers you find here on island. Not a scotch bonnet. So the scotch bonnet is the most <coughs> distinctive Jamaican pepper. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like this. Number one, it is never elongated on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Your scotch bonnet always has a flat body. Yeah. Very un-Jamaican. Sure. You know Jamaicans have a big body. <laughs> <laughs> um, the elongation typically belongs to habaneros. So if you know peppers, we also have a red one, which is called a West Indian red. Scotch bonnet always ripens yellow. All of your peppers start out green. So it's only when they're ripe that they gain the coloration. When they're ripe, they're hot. And I hear that this pepper is hotter than the scotch bonnet. This one, they call this the devil's damnation in the country. So. The common name is um, chocolate. Hab well, the common name is Devil's Damnation, but the the name that most people know by it, chocolate, bunto, chocolate habanero. Ah, chocolate. Yeah, it's from here. Right. Yeah, so you should strong. kind of be smelling it from here. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, strong, strong, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Blessing you with pepper juice. Mm. So if you are doing different recipes, I eat that to the you turn, use manga, the pepper at different stages. Mm -hmm. The green pepper is what we use to make the blow fire pepper sauce not mm -hmm. this pepper so blow fire is really great with flavor but it's not like killer with heat yeah. right <laughs> the six for nine now we use the right oh. Ooh, good catch we don't want the right now is where the everybody body. just had dropped so. Yes. so if you're doing an escovitch you want the right oh, if you're doing a jerk you want the ripe scotch bonnet because you want that heat. Oh, but if sorry. you're making your Sunday rice and peas, mm. you use the green scotch bonnet because the flavor is infused, but the heat is horrible, yeah. but still nice. All right? All right. All right. So that is a quick snapshot. The whole idea behind how we grow mm. is to have as many different mm. varieties as possible. Yes. And mm. each one of those varieties will help each other. The scallion and the thyme two of the most classic Jamaican ingredients mm -hmm. when it comes to cooking. They actually, this, when we got the pimento, you got the scotch bonnet pepper, the last two in scallion and thyme, and officially in Jamaica, scallion and thyme are husband and wife. Okay. Yes, they definitely. True. So if you go to the market yeah, yeah. and you buy a little scallion, you buy a little time. Time. The time. They right. typically will right. give it to you. They actually wrap the two of them together. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, that's a really cool thing. Let me plant the two of them together and see what happens. So the skeleton will help to repel whatever insects that will trouble the thyme, and the thyme mm -hmm. will help to repel whatever insects that trouble the skeleton. Mm -hmm. So the two of them... We have some big ones out here. Are right through. Them. Yeah, and as we Come. plant more and more like grow. We have some parsley down here because we do that. We have that but wild I mustard have. that you guys had. And all of the vegetables the here, bush. they use it in the kitchen for the thyme and the skeleton. And you know, mustard has that and this is, uh, what clear your sinuses again? kind of vibe when you have a little bit. Again? And no, I no. don't plant this. Blanca people, what is the name of this? I planted it a carrot, the carrot ago. this? It's seeds mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it just keeps on. Yeah, man, a carrot. Take a little bite. Look so. Is this carrot? Take a little piece. Break a piece. Smell like no. what it smells like. Okay. Take a little taste then. It's sweet. Yeah, but it should taste like something where you know. Break off a little piece down pan of white and then smell it. It should smell like something you know. All right. So I I can. Can. we smell could be it. here forever. I talk about everything. But yeah, the so whole that... idea is that you want to encourage plants to take care of plants. Yes. The more you're intervening with what's happening in nature, it's the harder time you're going to have. Even if you have a plant at home, especially if you're growing tomatoes, always grow our tomatoes with basil. 
-hmm. Basil helps to repel the insects from tomatoes. It also mm -hmm. accentuates the flavor of tomatoes. And if you're doing something like a bruschetta, you have the two main ingredients right there in front of you. Yeah. So the whole idea is whatever you pair on the plate, you can pair it in the garden as well, and they will help to benefit yeah, each other. Kalalu, which is probably the most distinctive Jamaican green, is this one here. And you'll get that all over the island, especially for breakfast. It's yeah. kind of like spinach, yes. but we do have our own type of spinach, which is a vining spinach. Kalalu is another one. If you allow it to blossom, like how it's blossoming here and there, it's always in the garden. And if you're not spraying any poisons to get rid of whatever else you're trying to get rid of, those seeds will just keep coming back each and every season. Our main concern, as always, is to enrich our soil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're every year adding more and more compost to the soil. <laughs> the bird pepper. You tried it? All right. So that one, when that one is in season, we'll have a third pepper sauce He's called holding Piri -piri. a bird pepper which is a South African, tabasco, uh, Portuguese, like a Tabasco, like a Tabasco. So it's like a chili cayenne type of vibe. So the whole idea again, diversity, diversity, diversity. All right, so we're going to go across now and then we'll turn and make our way back up. Ooh, got a little there. Which one was the avocado? Across where? Avocado, when we go across, I'll show you. They're all throughout the farm. That one in the back. Oh, yeah. so one, but in Jamaica, avocado. Avocado, there, there, guys. Avocado. Yeah. So when somebody offers you a slice of avocado in Jamaica, it's no, a slice. No, obviously, no. a slice of pear. It's avocado. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we'll leave the man. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep going. Wanna sing, girlfriend? Decide him wanna be a yourself. You guys, come this way. Come, come this way. We're gonna go straight across. Oh no, no, sister, she don't leave him. Oh no, leave him. <laughs> you know, BF. You know, sister, she not leave him at all. Every time you see him, you see her. BF on herself. No love connection. BF. Everything. Not eggplant. Not cabbage. Chive, Chris. Scallion. That's scallion. Ooh. I actually don't have chive growing out here. It's one of the crops that <laughs> I haven't figured out what it likes yet. Watch uh -huh. your step, baby girl. Yeah. That's the only thing that I'm grows. Uh, we don't have a good You're ready for to go back up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here that's all year through? Or year Guys, like she ready to go. She can't manage. You do have that. She's a real like, tone a girl. Season, a See season, like a real tone girl. She will go back up with that bush. Coming out of the rain season, but then we're also going into um, <laughs> you know, hurricane season, season in the summer. Okay. So hurricane will give you a lot of rain as well. Right. All right, so we're gonna, well, let's go right across. Let's go right across. Then comes an upright in front of the camera. Oh, Lord. Oh, we have to use it here. I have on no sneakers, I have on no slippers. I'm a literally feel that man. I'm coming. Cause me no want dropping no cave. Me drop me now. I love plank of people for laugh off for me. Come here, laugh off for myself. Wait, hold on. Come on. Why? Why not I can't have enough. Or something that slippers. Yeah. Oh. Myself, I shouldn't come. Because. Come there. My foot. You're stuck in these. I never know. Do them walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jesus, guys, may I turn over? My slippers are heavy. Oh, Lord. What is Horse. Is it a horse or a donkey? Oh, a donkey. You're a Ferrari. So, like a. Guys, no, no, you make me take the wrong track, man. No, I can't manage up there, sir. Too much plant. Come for me here, sir. As long as you walk in the gutter, you won't watch it. Move the camera. Dana. He's a lucky thing. No. Move it. Mighty God help me. Must stop. 
Look at that now. The slippers that take up all of the dirt. Ah, the plank of people. Yeah, may I come? I want to go down there. So plank of people may I reach down there. So I wonder if I can jump. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> then I came up on the wrong road. We can't manage up this stuff. My slippers are full of dirt. Mm. All right, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let me, let me come up there. Don't go no further. 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 Don't go Sure. Natalie. Can I slip us to me, please? The bush, I Yeah, I took it off. Thank you. Follow the sense. Okay. Yes, Nana. Guys, same to my face. All right, yeah, me take. Guys, I'm in the country, feet touching the ground. Woo! Oh, Lord. Your slippers drop right out of my foot. Really, out of your foot? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Mighty God. Don't know. A long time, you know what, barefoot. I'm pushing on, guys. Yes. <laughs> Guys, oh Lord, <sighs> my feet are tender. What are you, oh, cherry? Um, no, um, sir, I'm uh, not sir, see? No, a cherry. <laughs> cherry, that don't I look like sir, see? but you're not cherry tree. Oh, oh yeah, sir. I don't know first, may I say this? Yeah. I know. Eat a cherry? What's a big pumpkin? Eat a cherry. Oh, it is, Dana? I don't want to taste it. See your face? I don't want it then. Can I say? Cherry, is that? But it's sour. Guys. Mm -mm. <laughs> Over here, Okay. To the truck there guys coming up oh. let's go oh, yeah. my foot sure shoes yeah thank you <laughs> and here can't eat and here can't eat we have, we have flowers I see where the pipe Oh, probably up further now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Something catch me skin, my skin will itch me. Plank of bass, I wash our shoes. Real country girl, you know, guys. Real country girl, I try. Roll on my shoes. My slippers. Now I step down a bush with mud. If me know what I have to for them, and I can. Nobody will come. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> yes, guys, it was a good adventure. Yeah. I tell you something. Catch my hand. Which where? And um. After my feet, I'm washing brush. Let's see. Me
My Anna itch me. It's a good thing with my Avanda skirt here. It's a good thing. Natalie, because my skin, my, my legs would not scratch me. Thank a boss washing her shoes. Mr. Sir, <laughs> Wendy. Yes, what? Hello, Mr. Sir. Yes, you, can. you have any washing brush, oil brush? Come, you can wash out the mud out of the bottom. <laughs> no, 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 laugh how far they do. <laughs> Eh? I don't have a brush. Oh, you find water? You good one. I see the pipe here, yeah, so. Time, yeah, yeah. But I want to take off the mud off my shoes. You want a little bit of water, Yeah. I don't have a brush. Oh, look on the apple tree, dear. It's all on it, dear. Dana. Mm. Mm -hmm. You want to wash? Natalie, all this is not want to. I don't wash off your own one. I don't want to wash it off. I don't want to wash it off. Mine was too. Hold on to this for me, Kashko. Oh, you washing off him food? Yes, I will do that. It's not ready at all. Oh, I'm clean off here yeah, one field. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, maybe, depending on the season, we're going into the shorter. Oh, no, no, we're going into summer, so longer days, taller yeah. plants. Yeah. 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 So I love might get up to your height. You want to wash your feet too? Yeah. You can butt it so that it gives up more limbs. So it will spread laterally. Instead of just straight up, yeah, it just pops them out and then you get more buds, more limbs. I read all about it. All right. <laughs> so when you have your Jamaican house, you can plant five plants per household. Or without I become a Rastafari. Any day, but then you can't sell it. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care. Well, then you're good. I don't want to make you're money. You're good, man. Well, it's nice to make money out of stuff. Okay. Especially if you live in Jamaica. Okay. You're going to need that money. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, it up the Yeah, good idea. I can't see she never take off hers. Does she have any more money? Um, you know, she got not. I think she went on. When you say it when you come a country. Yeah. A country me grow. Oh, you yeah, make mm -hmm. see that one. You can see that? Yes, man. When you move through the farm, you uh, just, you're in a little like you haven't been in the tweet for a while, but after a while you say, yeah, <laughs> I'm here. This is what I go through. The granny had it. Natural. Oh, you're here. I'm here talk about granny again. So, I'm most country, man. The yeah, country people grow then granny. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Alright, clean mm -hmm. up nice, man. Yeah. When we reach up, we can't wash with uh, feet again. No, yeah, we dry off the feet right there, sir. Oh, oh, we're not, oh no, we're up yeah. there. Can, may I wait till we reach up? Okay. No, we can't manage can. it. I'm going to reach up. We have a towel up so we can't get to dry off. Yeah, yeah man, let me reach up. And dry off, Mr. Pine. <clears throat> and if it's rocky, rocky, it's something nice, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, people. Yeah, dog, and get tea, you know. They're actually very nice, you know. Why? I'm going to give me something. Come, Blackie, move. <laughs> See, I put Blackie. So, you're going to give me an heart attack. Yes, Blackie. Why you did that, Blackie? Blackie, you almost give Auntie Donna a heart attack. I'm going up there. Why make him want to lick me to him? Come on, Mr. Black. Yeah, there. <laughs> you find it to him? Yeah, oh, God bless. I'm going to stand up on that one. Yeah. yeah. So that's my foot on mud up, man. Yeah, and give me a bath and the slippers and dry it out. Huh? Yeah, so I can go up easily. God bless you, sir. You thanks, my sister. I like your spirit. I like yours too. Thank you. Yeah, man. Real down to earth, you know? What do you mean? Where else you want to be down to? Yeah. But what, 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 why, not, why you don't wear shoes? Is it because of the religion? Sorry, thanks. Well, 
Honestly, I never liked work shoes. If when I was a child? Yeah, from when I was a baby, I used to love to give me trouble about to walk barefoot and as I become an adult, I still don't like it, even when I was a fashion man. And yeah. You know, them kind Thank of you. Yeah. And now that I'm a senior citizen, you know, I'm 50 years old, nobody yeah. can tell me what to do. I know I just don't wear them. I find it keeps me grounded. Yes. Close to the earth. Save me enough time, save me enough money. I don't even want to try while I'm buying a spare shoe. Sure. But you, when you travel with stuff, yeah. you have to look stuff on. Yeah, when you go out, but on the farm, you just. Know? Even when I'm out, you travel barefoot. You, know? you travel barefoot now? Yeah, man. You go on the plane. You don't really look on your foot, you know. I'm always a. You find every other part. I drive out for I won't come that. You know, your yeah. foot, my man. I won't take it up with me when I reach up. I put it on. Okay. Because so I'm like going to slide. Wear, wear the foot there. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to slide in it. But give somebody the next sure. one. I'm not sure. Sit on the the old one. I want to take a look. One go. Um. Quack quack. Quack quack. Yeah. So then there. Jabbering throw. Everybody gonna leave with. Yeah man. Well, me feel better my foot washer. Give that. Oh, let me take up back your rag and wash it out back. No, no, no. Um, Thank you, though. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. See the next one. Yeah? You're welcome. That's it. You wash your foot. You're not going to get nothing up there to wash your foot yeah, and dry. Yeah, me can get something up there? Yeah, man. Okay. There's, a, oh. there's a, a pipe up there, see, anyway. Alright, me, alright. You just wash your foot. Yeah, because I'm going to slide. Let me see if you can find a bag. Yeah, bring a bag. If you want to touch on Natalie. That's a big gun. Mm-mm, I don't like cook them. I love when people cook them for me. I'll cook it for my mother. Mm-mm. Yes. You never see how much water under the tree. You're frightened. Somebody take some of the water when I'm gone. No, man. Go further. Yeah, I see the teeth here. I wonder if... They don't think it's the dogs. Uh -uh, they don't really mess with church. Where the heap on? I know there's a... Yeah. Yes, it's right there. It's just saying somebody took okay, them out. Maybe I assist you them out. You want some more, don't know? Just get some more, just in case. Okay, guys. I... I'll walk in the grass. Yeah, the grass. But the, the grass. Sorry, guys. Mosquito bite me. Yeah, Why you the on Keep it's to water. reduce the amount of stuff that we're sending to the dump. Oh, so what the bottle is? Sustainability. Mark the pathway. Keep it lined. So, and oh. it looks like we don't plant that edges. Yeah. Yeah, but we use up our bottles instead of sending them to the dump. Oh, so, so I'm going to grow up on the tree, yeah? Mosquito, who are you? Sorry. Mosquito, who are you? Mosquito, who are you might bring it back in the summer. It's hard to do it in the rain. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have another area up there. Did you go up there? No. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, we're going back through the love lane. We, have, we just have eat so, but we're healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing fattening. We got carrot and ginger soup, cream soup. It's nice. We add, um, um, is it sorry, no, red striped beer? Yeah, red striped um, beer bread. Bread. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Yes. Gummy and nice. Best view and then we'll go up the deck. Oh, the deck. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. I'm going to show the flowers that we just eat. Oh, we miss it. Oh, you don't know the tree? Yeah, man, they don't burn the farm. Okay. And you have roses. You want to eat roses too? Yeah, roses are edible. As long as they're not sprayed in any way. This? Yeah, that's edible. Wow. Flowers edible, guys. So we add flowers to there. Let me try it. And the flowers that we had taste like lettuce. <laughs> it does, yeah. 
So you get yourself roses too? We do. We use them on our chocolate cake. Wow, so come. This is another one that's edible. You're supposed to know this one. Which one does? This one. I'm going to tell you. This is Try that one. Try that one. He said this is an edible, eatable flowers. Big owner. I fought in my life, me I eat flowers. It tastes like jumbling. It have a sour taste. I left to get it yet done. Yeah. It tastes like jumbling. Not bad. Eh? And the stem, it tastes like, you know, you look at sour jumbling them. Done? Yeah. Citrusy. Yeah. A little bit of sweet, sour, mm. kind of well juicy. Mm. All right, my dear. Mm. Should I really have something to brush it off? So hold on, let me get this. Let me get this. All right. Yes, that's put on your step on. Yeah, I'm going to for something for a brush off the bottom of my foot. Oh, and this one? Yeah. So, we would have come up in some more mud. Mm -hmm. I never want to put it on. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to rip it in now. You wouldn't do it. Eh? You know, they say it's too much like my one for one leaf. Somebody said next cake recipe should include a flower. <laughs> oh, you mean, for sure. Mm -hmm. This tastes good. <laughs> I like you, sir. Your spirit. Not like you, like, like you. Uh, just yeah. like your spirit, yes. your, your, your countenance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So we come here, you, you treat us very well. You should love that, man. Really, really appreciate it. deserve to be treated like royalty. Yeah. You could be my sister, my cousin, my auntie. True. My girlfriend, my wife. You know, yes, one of true. Them, so. Thank you. You treat That's us it. like queen, guys. Yes. And they said they booked out until June, so you can't get any date until after. Yeah, but they can hit us up on the website. Um, you can go tell them about the website. Uh, mm -hmm. Stushinthebush.com uh, We are booked out for the next six weeks or so. We're by reservation only, but we'd be happy to have you. Uh, if you go and you can't get a reservation, just shout us an email um, and say when you'd like to come up. And if we can accommodate, we will. Mm -hmm. Tell them it's only vegetarian. Plant-based. Strictly plant-based. So everything... <laughs> Right guys, strictly plant based, based, everything made from plants, no meat, jackfruit guys, look at that, yes, it smells good, watch this, watch the foot now, watch the baller, the baller, yes, <laughs> This is us. I did not do it myself. No. I know. We had very talented carpenters. It's beautiful. Wow. I would come up here and dine. Yeah, we wow. dine up here in the summer. Oh guys, God. look at this view. Look at the tree, guys. Yeah, oh my I God. This, this is beautiful. Look at this, guys. And they have a cabin. You can book the cabin also. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. Look at and it goes right into the trees. It's beautiful. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Wow, guys. Look at this. Look at the view. Look there guys. Look at Auntie Dana. Wow. I don't know, I could sit here so for a while and look there. Oh my god. Oh my god, the view. It's beautiful. Oh. Show them it's a good touch. Watch the dog. Look at then. the view, guys. You're not taking a picture with me and them dog here. Can't we have a different today? The house is over there. Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. Tats. Imagine waking up to this every day and you can come and just what get this every dog, day. Then? It's beautiful. Yes, it's it a is. nice wedding um, venue. Setting, yeah. Yes. And they have a cabin here. They rent it equipped with everything. Oh, oh, Take two pictures in the car. Oh, I'm a oh. You sure a mosquito? Yes, I'm not seeing. Hello, Mr. Key. See, camera here. I'm going to take a picture. Yeah. 
I can't come here so tight so I don't take one two pictures. Guys, I'm a jack of all trades. Wait, let me have sweat. Are you sexy, sir? What? Whoa, oh. take it. Wait, just relax. Yeah. You don't want to take two pictures with them, you know, because... Pose him, what pose him? Bring him come, bring him come, make him pose. Come, Papa. Put come. one on the left, one on the right. I don't right. know if that's how it works, though. Come, Papa. Come, Papa. <laughs> come, Papa. Come, They're teacher. friendly. So where do you get these dogs from? These are not Jamaican. They're local, but we breed them. They breed themselves and we take care of them. Do you have puppies? They're mixed. Do you have puppies? Not at the moment. Oh, I need a puppy. Can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch him. He's gone. Okay. Touch when they go yeah. again, I need a puppy. Come. Yeah. All right, so when you guys wrap up, you can go up and finish up signing. Yeah, we're going to finish up there. Take it at the cliff now. Let's get the view. Now I've got two near camera. We'll easily get dizzy. We'll go right this side too, so we get the back view. We did get the better view that side. Okay. All right, come. Come that side here. All right, let me take a look. You get it? Yes. Yes. Let me show you the black. Let me show you the black. Let me show you the beautiful view. It's shaped like a 50 cent. Mm -hmm. You know, a 50 cent kind. And the view, the service, Digicel, awesome service up here. Please look at these pictures because I'm not going to. What? No, them nice. On anti nice, let me show you the plank of them. Yeah, the more seat when I post them. Oh, no, Auntie Nice, sir. No, no, no. Yeah, we're coming. Oh, my God. Look, pan, look pan up here. Who gave you this idea, sir, for this tree thing? Huh? This, uh, you see this? If it's now, this about $6 million water board, you know? If it was now, you're doing it. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I two before them here, you know? And plus labor. Two be six. No one piece of this of six thousand at the two be six. So and just the count, you can't count too much two be six this. Chuck load. Chuck load. I use it the arm. No, I'm used to these dogs. I have a Rottweiler and I had a German Shepherd mixed with white. No German um, Shepherd. With oh, no um German. No man, I'm talking about me. Yeah. German Shepherd mixed with Rottweiler. I'm used to the dogs, but when done a scream, I get nervous. Me get nervous fear. I'm them big. When you tell them to move, they're not moving. <laughs> them don't used to me. Yes, the dogs, they are clean, they smell well, and um, you don't see any hair shedding. I'm not lying, they smell real good. Literally smell like them, smell like them, spray, colored upon them. Dogs really smell good and look good, very clean. If you didn't see the dogs, you wouldn't know that dogs are here because there's no, not even mess. So that's good. So why you can't now ask? I'm actually walking, eating the... Yeah, Wait, name again? So why you need the price? No, where you check out? Huh? Hmm? What's the name of it again? Begonia. Begonia. Uh, guys, I'm actually walking and eating so this. Yeah, you have different types though. This is the white one that's coming in. Okay. But you might get to them so long and them come and find out one on the receipt now. So you get a receipt with your name and your number. Yeah. What's your name? What's your name when you buy the cake? You see what? Hey guys. It was a beautiful tour. I'm tired now. <laughs> Beautiful tour. Oh, 
Oh. Let me. Does it come forward? Yes, it was good. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Guys, we're back. Natalie. Oh God. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, you're on there for guys. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, run away, leave us. Say hi, Natalie. Natalie, beautiful night. Your time to the conference. Long does me tired, me can't talk to me now. Tired, more sleep. Are you enjoying the journey so far? Enjoying the dog, the farm, enjoying everything. Thank you did great on the trip. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. What must say? Roll call. James, what's popping? Ava, Powell, what's popping? Charles, Andrea Wellington, was it Sadie Sadie or Sadie Sadie? Carolyn Baptist, Marie Hilton, Hilton, Nads Bernard, Marlene Williams, Laverne Smith, big up on a cell, Pam Nelson, Yvette Quokalisti. Picula. Picula? I don't know if it enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. She come in, guys. Oh, I thought she was going to start right now. We're going to be moving on to Fire Grove's Pizza. Yeah. With me, right? I'm just kidding. You may sit, you may turn, you may sit. Pizza is going to be coming out from the table. I'm, I am originally from New York, yes. So when we first started off this entire venture, we started to do pizza on the grill. And so today, you have a couple different types of pizza. You have a sweet pizza, which has tomato sauce. Hi, Corona. Uh, sometimes I take my eyes off the right off the right phone, right guys. So sometimes right I don't see the um, comments. Well, forgive me. Really delicious. We've also started to make our own plant-based cheeses. So you're actually going to have a coconut mozzarella and also a cashew-based mozzarella. Yeah. Um, so now the experience is entirely plant-based. Um, you won't hear me say the word vegan anymore because I kind of have brought it back to Ica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And localize it in terms of Jamaica instead of uh, bringing on a word that is like placed upon us. So we're back to being ITIL and plant based, yeah, which has been the way that it's been for many, many, many years uh, in Jamaica, yeah. So the other pizza is a salty pizza. So it has an herb pesto, it has something we may call carrot locks, it has olives and papers, you know, all of that. <laughs> Lovely experience. I thought you were coming. No, sir. I forgot it's a little Was nice. All the, the things that he knows. About yeah, he knows a lot. He knows yeah. everything. How to plant what together. Yeah, what to plant together. Yeah. Mosquito? Yeah. Oh, you enjoyed Anne Jacob? Wow. Anne Jacob says she enjoyed the tour. Yes. So my Planker Nation toured with me today at Stush in the Bush. 
Yes, there's a tour. That's a Natalie, you enjoy the tour? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Wow. This is a vegetarian, the, the vegan. She's a vegan. It's a vegan pizza. I tell pizza. It's a snake. Nice. It's a boom. So, this is the, I hope this is Leka. Yeah. Is this lekka? I hope it what is, is lekka. Delicious from oh. early this morning. And what oh, it's lekka. Shop, 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 shop. How hot to again? Yes. Shop, shop, shop. So, Miss Phoenix, how you actually found out about this place? So, as uh, most people, uh, the plant of Shop, know, I like discovering off the beach, I think. I don't like regular things that everybody goes to. I like finding these nice, small yes. things. And not everybody goes on. So we discovered it a couple of years ago um, from a friend who came and we loved it. We love it. We love Chris. We love Lisa. The people that own it. Um, we love the atmosphere. They have some big things up here, do you see? <laughs> some big dogs. But if you look beyond that, it's a real culinary journey. It's very, very thought out. And before every um, every meal, she explains what it's made of and it's really made with love. Wow. Um, and she does a really good job. And, and everything is cooked here. This is a. Everything is from here, cooked here, everything. Yes. I planted on the farm. So, what, which, what type so nothing is from outside. So she presented the farm. So, this one is the sweet pizza. Yes. And the other one is the salty pizza. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a shop. Yeah. So before everything, she explains what it is, how it is made, and her thoughts behind it, and it's it's fantastic. Yes, and she's from um, Barbados. She was, born in she was just born in New York, which is history. Yeah. Her family story is British. Big. And she bring each, she bring a little of where she connected yes. to the restaurant. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
stuffing it. This is a good example of how vegan food or vegetarian food without meat, how it can be made in such a nice, a nice way. manner. Yes, that definitely. You're not missing anything. Mm -hmm. That's a you have the huh? taste, you have the, the texture, everything. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Pizza. Very good. Oh. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put my phone to charge. It want to charge. So I'll see you guys later, all right? We're going to do some chatting now. Mm. And then I can't say, Auntie Donna didn't bring one on the journey. Mm. This is the salty one I'm going to taste. Auntie eh? mm. mm. yeah. yeah. Both of them nice. It's a bit tangy with the cheese and the... That's what that's. Yeah. Olives, olives yeah. and this make it a bit tangy. <laughs> All right, so later. Very nice. I enjoyed it here. See you guys later. All right.